Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to my channel. And um, yeah, we're playing Project Ozone 3. And look, I've got a friend. This is the Farming for Blockheads market, which is pretty cheap. Um, let's see. We'll put, yeah, market. And it's pretty cheap, it's just some red wool, which is white wool with red dye next to it. So I had some ro I got some rose bushes outside, so I used the uh rose red dye from that. Um a couple of planks and five wood. Five logs. Cause there's a pretty sure there's a Pam's market as well, but that's more expensive. Pam Pam's No, maybe it's not in this one. But I know there's uh, there's a market in Pam's as well. But that's usually a bit more expensive. But basically, for th with this, you can buy seeds and, you know, can buy seeds, saplings, flowers, or other stuff. Oh, you could buy... I oh know. You could buy... I didn't know you could buy rack. But you can buy other things. And you pay for it with rack so if you didn't want to buy the loot crates you can use these but seeing that we're on a normal world it doesn't really make much of a difference um you know we could just go out and get some of this stuff okay not sure what happened there but um you know it can be handy but i've got him there just keep me a bit of company um i wonder if we can rename him with a with a with a a tag. I'll have to try that one of these days. But also, as you can see, I've moved some of the machines and also I've moved some of my storage. But you're probably wondering, where did I move it to? I mean, this stuff is still here, but a lot of the stones and ingots and whatever that I had here, I've moved it. And that's because I've built a basement. I've put in an elevator, open blocks elevator, so there's one here and one up there. And that is also relatively cheap. I believe it's some wool and ayavenda or an ender pearl. I can't remember which one. Let's have a quick look. Elevator. Yeah, ender pearl surrounded by wool. And it gives you that. So. You jump up to get upstairs and to get back downstairs, you press shift. And also, yeah, I made, I, I, yeah, I made more power. Not that I really need it right, right now. And also it occurred to me what I should have done was make it on camera. It only occurred to me like halfway through. Oh, see, I'm, I'm hungry again. Uh, there you go. As I was moving all my stuff downstairs, I realised I could make a very, very basic early game um, reactor, nuclear reactor. Because basically the most expensive thing, I guess, is all the coal that you need to turn into graphite bars. But it's just a lot of... It's just not even a lot. It's just some redstone some gold, one diamond, and lots of graphite. And so I did it. And then it's only when it was halfway through, I suddenly thought, you know what? I should have done that on camera. And I can't even remember if there is a quest for it. There probably is. There really should be something on this to let you know. Yeah, it's not that. This was this. Oh, no. Look at the bottom. Theta, Iota, Kappa. Extreme reactors, yeah. So I got the graphite because you had to make one graphite bar. Um, the Eulorium, I got a stack of Eulorium. I had to go and mine that. And all the bits for the extreme reactor. So the casing core, the casing, the two access ports, one control rod, 
one redstone flux power tap uh, or controller and the fuel rods. I got all of those, put them together. Like I said, it, it's tiny. It's literally um, three by three by four. But the only thing is, now that I've made it, I, it is kind of like I need some way to, you know, get the power out. Okay, I've run out of yellow. Oh, there's 52 in there. We're fine. I need some way to get the power out because I'm used to playing in packs with um, Flux Networks. And I don't think... Let's have a quick look. I don't think Flux Networks is in here. No. Because all the Flux stuff is Quantum Flux. Quantum Flux. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of research and see what I can use to pull the power from here because I don't want to be running cables all over the place. They've got to be, it's got, there's got to be some kind of wireless networking thing. So yeah, so I did that. I made lots of Yabba barrels as well because, you know, they're good at storing stuff. And also when you break it, it retains the barrel. Because with the storage drawers, it doesn't do that. When you break the barrel, then everything spills out all over the place. You have to make lots of packing tape. Or use a chest transporter. And there's no chest trans transporters in this pack. So yeah, the barrels is good. There is a connector, which I know of, but I haven't played with it yet. To see, and so it will connect all your barrels, and then you can do like a search through it. So it makes it a bit, a bit like... A very basic non-powered um, storage system, a bit like AE2, but without all the all the grindy bits, I guess. So we're going to have to do that at some point. I've moved my furnace down here, and I've also discovered that if you, even though it says you can use a pickaxe to pick up the furnace, if you break it with the upgrades inside, you lose the upgrades. So that was a bit of a pain, but it's been, as you can tell, I've been busy with all the stuff I just every time I go out mining and I come back with stuff I just put it in the chest and let it do its thing and it's it's going pretty well um well we've, we ha we made this at the end of the last episode and I made an ingot cast because I was trying to work out how am I going to use this you use it get the seared blocks yeah but then how do I get the bricks and then it suddenly occurred to me I can melt the gold to make the cast, put a brick in so that I've, it can make your ingot cast. So it made an ingot cast and then I would, you know, uh, use it how, how you would use a tinker's smeltery and get my blocks. So I did that and then I made a very basic tiny what was power one? I just saw that come up on the screen. I have no idea what that was. Very basic, tiny smeltery. You know, a six, eight slots. So it doesn't even, you know, it's tiny, but it's there. And we can use it if we need to. And there's the ingot cast that I made on the porcelain smelter. Right, on to today's episode after I spent the last 10 minutes trying to tell you what I've done. And also I moved all my sibs down here as well. It just made it a bit easier now that I have all my stuff down here. Um, yeah, so there's that. Right, today I did say we were going to do a bit of making a, a bit of a kitchen. Oh, and I did go all the way down to bedrock somewhere. I can't remember where, but I did it somewhere. There's nothing interesting. It's flat bedrock, bedrock, which is awesome. So that means then, you know, I can go down. When I do make a hammer, eventually, I can go with a hammer and just make clear huge rooms so that, you know, get all of the good stuff that's down there. Anyway, I'm rambling. Sorry. Um, cooking for blockheads and pams. I don't think there is... And of course, now we've got to look through all of this just to see if there is any kind of... I don't think there is a cooking thing on here. I don't think there's any kind of... Um, I'm just reading the bits on the bottom as well. 
progression. Yeah, that's armor. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's... I doubt, because now we're getting into Britannia and Pneumatocraft and Applied Energistics. Extra cell, Extra cells. Oh, extra cells is to go with Applied Energistics. RF tools, no. Mechanism. I wonder if... Does mechanism have some kind of wireless? Anyhow, I keep getting sidetracked. It's all the shiny stuff. Yeah, there's nothing really for. If it, I guess, if there was going to be any kind of Pam stuff or cooking for blockheads, it would be up here, and it's not. So that's fine. So, right. So if I look at. Cooking for blockheads, basically it's one big multi-block. And you make all these things. You can actually you can make a whole room and join it all together with the kitchen floor. And then so you can have it, you know, on different sides of the room. It doesn't have to be all joined up. But if you don't do that, then you just join them all together. And they make a big multi-block along with the PAM's um tools. And you get a kitchen so you can cook things. And like I said, the only reason why I'm doing this is because you get hungry so fast, even when you're not doing anything, which is just like real life, which is good. So let's see. No, wrong thing. Right. So we need a cooking table. We need an oven. We need a fridge. There's some books. I think this is usually one of the first things they want you to do. The recipe book. And then you can make all these other things. So let's start with the recipe book. And then let's go through this quick. I see cooking for blockheads recipe book. And basically you just need to cook a book. How ingenious is that? Do I have, I had paper. I think my paper's upstairs. How do you make books? Is there anything I can use down here? Um... Book. Oh, I can choose, use two blank patterns, three bits of paper, and a string. Exoskeleton plate. What on earth is an exoskeleton plate? Okay. Right. So I have. I think all my papers upstairs though. So. Let's go up and get some. Uh, oh, I had paper. I had two. I think I need three, right? Yeah, I need three. Uh, sugar cane. I just had... Oh, I've got sugar cane in my inventory. I need to clean out my inventory. Yes, I know. You don't need to, to yell at me because I know. I need to clean it out. Right. Let's make some paper. And do I have any patterns? No, I don't have any spare patterns. Okay. Okay. Make some sticks. And two planks. Two sticks gives me four patterns. Read this book. There you go. One book. Let's put you there for a second. And I need to put. Oh. How? What? Okay, that's a bit random. But then, oh, I wonder if I can just put the book there. There you go. And it puts it in. There you go, we got the recipe book. Actually, let me... Do I have anything for this down here? No, I think that's why I had my junk chest, which is full. And there were sticks in there. And string. <laughs> and lots of paper. See, that's why I need to organise my inventory. Okay. Cooking table. Need the cooking for blockheads too. Okay. Two diamonds, two crafting tables, and the cooking for blockhead one. 
All right. Two diamonds, that's all I have. Not good. Didn't I have more, maybe? No. Two diamonds, two... What was the other thing? That's a bit like when you leave the room to do something and then you don't remember what you're supposed to be doing. Two crafting tables. Okay, so we need eight bits of wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we already have some in there. Um, no, not yet. Two, put you there. Am I really hungry again? And this time I... Oh, God. Oh, you know what? I had some chicken. Chicken. There you go. Uh, at least that will stop me from being... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. At least that will stop me from being hungry. Although it doesn't do very much. See, this is why we need the kitchen. Alright. Two of those. Two of those. Can you burn sugar cane? I wonder. No. Good. There's the book. And that cooking for blockheads too. So to make the cooking table, we need a uh, terracotta. Really? Oh, that's just blocks of clay though, isn't it? That you bake. Okay, clay. I do have clay. Is that upstairs? Yes, I don't think I've brought that down yet. Um... Five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Um, that will do for now. Soon I will have all my stuff downstairs. And then once I get my um my stuff sorted with the yabba barrels. Take you out, shove you in. No, I need more than two, don't I? I want, I needed five. What am I thinking? I need five. But yeah, so we got two terracotta. Okay, I tell you what, I'm going to organize all my stuff and then I'm going to come back. And then, um, yeah, and then we can get on with it. Okay, so we got all of that done. Cooking table. Yes. And we need an oven. So that you need black stained glass, which is glass around something black. Hmm. Okay, do I have any ink? I don't think there's any out here. I think there's probably going to be some upstairs. Let's put you down right here next to... I don't know what we're going to call you. Hmm. If you guys can think of a suitable name for Mr. Derpy over here, then please let me know in the comments and I can pick the best one. Right, what did I want to get again? Oh, God. See? Senior moments. Having lots of senior moments. Glass. And... Black pigment. I'd probably put it in... Because I know I've killed some... There you go. I know I'd kill some squid. See? That homicidal... That cow wants to kill me. That cow wants to kill me. Because when I was... When I killed the wither... The, um... The wither skeleton a couple of episodes back. Yeah, it's been hanging around outside the house trying to kill me. Uh, glass. I don't think there's any glass downstairs, is there? I've got sand though. I could cook up some glass. Mm. 
There's nothing in these. No, there's nothing in those. Let's just do half a stack because that will convert that into a stack because it all doubles. All doubles? This glass is not an ore. It doubles. <laughs> and again, with the hunger. Right, so I've got some apples cooking up and that will help stave off the hunger for a bit until we get our kitchen finished. Right, so the glass is done. So if we put the glass around in that configuration and that in the middle, that's black stained glass, a furnace and some iron. We can make the furnace almost like I planned it as marble and then the iron which one is iron this no it's along the bottom here two three four five six seven eight eight should be more than enough yeah no didn't like that there you go now we've got an oven as well the fridge, you need an iron door and a chest. And the iron door is six iron. There. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did it pick up enough? Picked up nine. Okay. As you do. Actually, you know what? We should make a double fridge. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Counting with Shane. Welcome to my counting show. Sorry. Ah. Oh, I only needed, you know. Never mind. Okay, that's that. Let's put up the other set of stuff to cook. Um, and a chest. Do I have any chests down here? No. I know I have chests. I can't remember where I put them. And I'm not going to play hunt the chest. There's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's just easier. And of course, there wasn't enough to make two chests. Did you pick up? Yes. That's the one thing I like about the Britannia ring is that um, the ring of magnetization, it will, you know, it will have everything at your feet rather than just gathering it for you. Right, that's two fridges. Let's put you in there and let's eat some cooked apple. Okay, so that's that. Then the fridge, the sink, more terracotta, iron, and a bucket of water. And you're going to need terracotta for the counters, right? There's six, there's five, that's eleven, and five, that's sixteen. Okay, let me go and get the clay to, um, to make our terracotta and I'll be right back. Okay, so the terracotta is all nice and fired up. Let me see, we've done that, we've done that. We've done the fridge, we need a sink. So that means I need a bu bu uh, bucket of water. <sighs> right. Is there anything that I could do without having to go upstairs? Oh, we need more chests. Kitchen cabinet. Kitchen corner. No. Fruit basket. I can do a fruit basket, probably. Eh, no, because I have no wood on me. Right, so yeah, we're going to have to go upstairs and look for the chest. I'll be right back. Okay, I went looking for chests. Couldn't find them, and that's when I remembered. I went and turned all my chests into yabba barrels. So... 
Let's make four chests. Um, we've done this, and I should have gotten the. Ugh. I'm. This is definitely a senior moment video. Where's the hammer for this? Is that upstairs in the tools thing? <sighs> See, that's what you get for being between the sap things. Uh, iron hammer, magnetograph, that's it. That's what I get for having half of my stuff upstairs and half of my stuff downstairs. Alright, let's put you in the corner. Let's get those three. Put those there. Where's the hammer? The... I did take it out, right? Did I not take it out? Did I just put it in the bottom of the... I just put it in the bottom of the chest. Oh my goody arm. This is definitely a senior moment video. No, it's there. I... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm... I, it's official. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, somebody had told me, one of my wonderful commenters, told me that if I keep... Oh, if you just keep holding down shift, it will hammer everything that's in the stack. I don't have to keep putting the new one on. And it worked. Thank you. Bucket. But the bucket has to have water in it, doesn't it? Sink. Yes, it does. Oh, I know there's water above there, but I'm not. You know what? I should really make an infinite source down here. I will do that later. As long as I remember. Because... At the rate we're going, it's going. It's definitely. I'm not going to remember anything. So yeah, hopefully I will remember after the episode's done to make an infinite water source down here. And you know what? I probably won't even use it again after this. Knowing my knowing my luck. Okay, we've got the sink. We want a kitchen counter. Do you want a corner? No, we just want a counter. I think two counters. Can I make two counters? That's one. And we're missing some stone. I think there is stone. No, do I have any cobble? One, two, three. Oh, got a bit turned around there. Oh, it gives you back your bucket. Oh, awesome. Right, so this furnace or double, this furnace doubles, so I will get back the six stone out of the three that I just put in. So what are we making? Another kitchen counter. There you go. So we've got two counters, a sink, and everything else is upstairs. So... And who says Minecraft is boring? You can get to redecorate your house, make a whole kitchen. Put a sink there. No sink. A kitchen counter there. Is there anything else? The sink. Put the sink on the other side, because you're not going to put your sink next to your cooker. Or oven, for those of you who are not in the UK. Um, yeah. Especially if you've got an electric oven. Electric, electric cooker. Why is there a fish in the sink? Why is there a fish in the sink? I saw that one in a different mod pack and I just thought it glitched out, but maybe it's to show you it's a sink? I don't know. But yes, now we have our kitchen. And the good thing is that you can store things in here. And this is what makes it part of the multi-block, is that if you make the pams odds and ends, then you can cook things. And depending on what you have already, either in your in in your inventory i think yes because it's got to be because one of them is cocoa powder i have that in my inventory fresh water that would be from the sink salt because i've got nitre 
and stock. Oh, I need Pam's pot, but I've got, um, <laughs> but I've got, um, I've got bones. So yeah, so it's either stuff in your inventory or stuff that you've got stored in here and you can cook it in the oven. So I think that's it. I don't, I think, I think I'll make the Pam stuff off camera because it's all very, very, very simple. Let's have a quick look um, at Pam's apostrophe S and this pack is determined to kill me yet again. Right, that will stave off the hunger for a little bit. Okay. Um, if I remember correctly, yeah, there, there's the stuff. See, so the pot. Where's it gone? A pot is a stick and four clay bricks. A skillet, two bricks and a stick. Saucepan, a, a brick and a stick. Stick and glass. Oh, you know what? We can do this now. Let's do it really quick because it's nothing. You know, we can do this. I wasn't counting. Twenty-one. 21's a good number. Don't you think so? It's a very good number. What was... Oh, I thought that was on something on fire outside of my door. <laughs> That's the only thing about building a wooden house. You're always afraid of fire. Where's my clay? There's my clay. Is it going to double my clay? No. And I have sticks. There's more sticks in here. Oh, there's only two. Okay, that's not more sticks. Let's get two more planks and make four more sticks. Okay, 20 and 21. So, oh, and the cutting board. We're missing a block. Need a block for that, and everything else just involves sticks. Is there a block in here? No. Let's quickly get that. That did transfer its way in. Yes, it did. So, cutting boards. There you go. Pots. That's done. Skillet or a frying pan. A spritz, saucepan, and bakeware. That's it. We've got other stuff the mortar and pestle, mixing bowl, juicer. Is that stone? Is there any more stone that I cooked up? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bit quick on the on the finger thing there yeah uh, stone yeah uh, mortar and pestle that's that saucepan no we did that bakeware did that it's the mortar and pestle juicer we need a stone pressure plate and that's it Right, that's that. Let's get the pressure plate. All right, so we did the mortar and pestle. That is done. No. Oh, okay. Mortar and pestle is done. The mixing bowl. Really? Planks. I thought I needed stone. One, two, three. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I'm definitely having a senior moment today. Um, what are we looking for? Mixing bowl. What am I mix missing? Did it not pick up? No, it didn't. All right, let's throw you away for a second. Why do you keep telling me powered? Oh, is it for the furnace? No. Why did I mouse over that? It told me power one. It's a bit strange. 
Ah, uh, mixing bowl. There you go. That's done. Uh, juicer. And that's done. Anything else? No, that was it. What's, oh, that's ice. From the nether. Nether ice. It's, no, that's not it. Right, so let's go put this upstairs in the kitchen. There's the oven, so the skillet. No, that does does that not shift click in? No, it doesn't. I'm so used to shift clicking everything. Saucepan and the bakeware. And I believe you can put everything else in some kind of rack, I think. Is there a rack? I think you, if you put it on a tool rack above the kitchen, it would access those as well. I'm going to have to have a look at that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you... If you put any everything... So stock now, it should tell me I can cook it. Yes. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a tool rack, I think it is. And if you, if you put the pams, the extra pam stuff, you know, like the mixing bowl and the mortar and pestle above it, above the kitchen on the tool racks, you can access those as well. Or maybe, maybe it's, maybe you can use the item racks. I'm not sure. Or the drying racks. I'm not sure. But one of those, I will have to look it up. But anyhow, we've gone way over time. And thank you for bearing with me with all my senior moments and forgetting what I'm doing, just like your grandma would. And um, I will see you in the next episode of Project Ozone 3. And if you like my content, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.